Well, for years now, Maine has been struggling to build enough housing to meet the demand. Individual homes, apartments, and condos, they just can't go up fast enough. But as New Center Maine's Brianna Bush shows us, one project in the greater Bangor area is aiming to build an entire neighborhood by 3D printing several homes. Housing is its probably the biggest crisis people in Maine are facing today. That's why leaders at the University of Maine's Advanced Structures and Composite Center have been working for over three years testing a new approach. 3D printed homes all created from wood waste. That would drive costs down in the materials. And could we automate the construction by 3D printing the homes and therefore uh, uh, allow, uh, allow us to build more, ho more homes with less people? Three years ago, you made unveiled Biohome 3D, the first 100% bio-based 3D printed home in the world. The prototype has stood strong for three main winters and now the center is ready to take on a new project. Now we feel comfortable enough uh, to go ahead and build the development. UMaine is collaborating with the nonprofit Panquis to develop a community of nine 3D printed homes made from recyclable materials. This represents a quick, affordable way to build housing and to mass produce housing. And that's very exciting. And then the uh, side benefit is that it also reduces the carbon footprint of housing. Leaders eyeing sites in the greater Bangor area like Brewer and Orono for the development. The key is to find a place where you can do nine homes. Leaders like Laura Mitchell of the Maine Affordable Housing Coalition say creative housing solutions like this can be key in addressing the state's housing shortage. I think um, Maine needs 80,000 new units of housing um, by 2030. And so we're going to need to embrace new ways of building um, and speed is our friend. Uh, the sooner that we can get these new homes um, for people to start moving into, the better. Hoping this innovative solution can combat rising material costs that hinder traditional construction efforts, all to make sure affordable housing is available. Well, that's really one of the main things that we're trying to do. So this fits very much in line with what we're doing. In Orono, Brianna Bush, New Center, Maine.